Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my hair. As you can see, my hair looks like this. Um, a couple of days ago, I had straightened out my hair, um, but unfortunately, uh, <laughs> something happened where I went to a wonderful party, had a ball, and this is the aftermath. I got pictures to show that it was a whole mess. But whatever I digress so as you can see this is my hair here and I am going to um, wash blow dry and straighten out my hair and curl it up so I have been my hair is natural my hair has been natural for um, about almost five years yeah 2019 happy new year by the way um 2019 will make it five years august will make it five years so um i have enjoyed the natural process i say i enjoy it because it has its ups and it has its lows um but i've gone a few months without heat and every couple of months then i'll you know i'll straighten it out to see what the progress is and right now it's it's where it's at right now it is healthy however um i noticed one side is like more straight than the other and i've been taking it upon myself to do a few treatments and it has worked but you know every once in a while now that it's colder out um, you can't just do a lot of wash and goes like you used to so we're going to take it upon ourselves to We're going to take it upon ourselves to um, wash, straighten, and uh, flat iron. So, um, the products that I'm going to use are here. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal L-Vive uh, Extraordinary Oil. Um, this is with the flower oil. Nice smell to it. Um, sunflower intenses shine and softens. It definitely works very well. I used it on my daughter's hair and it definitely softened up her, her hair. Um, it uh, does help with uh, dry hair. That sometimes can happen to me. But, uh, you know, since I have stuff to do and my house is busy, as you could hear, um, I'm going to wash my hair with this, with the shampoo. And then I am going to use the Pantene Three Minute Miracle, which works in my hair. I do like it. I got this on a coupon as well. And I am going to use the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration uh, Coconut Oil Conditioner. These two working together works very well. Hy um, I uh, products with that do like the daily hydration work very well in my hair. I do sometimes uh, do a deep conditioner overnight. Unfortunately, this is okay. I'm talking a little bit too much, so let me just go through a few points here. Um, I'm gonna pretty much do a rewash and a, a little quick conditioner uh, routine for my hair since again it was messed up. Now with the L'Oreal shampoo that I showed you, uh, it reminds me of the Eco Gold. It has the gold speckles in it and the smell is amazing, but it does have sulfate. I really didn't notice that until afterwards so um, this is not a shampoo that I'm going to be putting back in uh, rotation here but I just wanted to throw that out there in case somebody was interested in it but again I got it for a good price I'm gonna also be using the Pantene three minute miracle which works wonders in my hair as well as the uh, Shea Moisture uh, coconut oil daily hydration conditioner those mixed together work very well and this is what I'm going to do before I apply all this heat so here we go okay I'm starting to ramble again so I am out um, from under the sink washing my hair and I'm getting ready to use the Shea Moisture uh, shampoo I'm sorry conditioner and the three minute miracle now also what I started to say in here is just so I can keep the keep it going is I got the Shea moisture conditioner out of CVS the deal was um, buy one get one half off and if you buy 30 you would get $10 back so that uh, Shea moisture conditioner was $17 
and I got another one for half off, which was about nine dollars um, or eight dollars and some change. And then I got another styler to go with it. I can't remember what it is. I know it's in a blue bottle with a pink pump, um, but I did get to the thirty dollar mark and I got ten dollars back. But I also had a, a coupon on my CVS account to take five dollars off. I also had um, a couple manufacturers coupons. I believe it was to take three dollars off. But needless to say, my out-of-pocket was about $15, but after all the rebates came back, I paid little to nothing. It was about $5 that I paid out-of-pocket, and I got a, a discount, on, I'm sorry, a rebate on my savings, a savings star account. So again, it's a lot of information. As you start to see more videos on, on my channel, you'll get to see how much I'm saving and what it is that I'm actually doing, so you too can do the same type of deals that I'm doing. All right, anyway, as you can see, I'm using a wide tooth comb to comb out my hair. I've uh, parted my hair in four sections and then I do subsections as well because you have to make sure that all of the product is going through your hair as much as possible. And because my hair is super thick, as you can see, I have to make sure that all the product gets in there. So um, if you're gonna comb out your hair while it's wet, I suggest you go from tip and uh, you start to move up. My hair can be tangled in certain areas, uh, so it's a little harder to comb through. But my hair has gotten better over the years, so you could use a wide tooth comb. You can use a denim brush. You can also use a, um, it's another brush that they call, it's kind of like a, pretty much a detangling brush. Um, but you could use those, whatever it is that you need in order to um, make sure that you get through to your hair. Um, because again, you wanna have all the product go through your hair and you want to keep this in your hair for about three minutes i'm sorry and also i had to speed this up because got a lot of background noise and just got a lot going on um, again when you're a single mom juggling kids and trying to get your hair done at the same time it can be a bit of a challenge but we're gonna make it work so all right we're gonna stop it here and we're gonna skip over to the next scene Okay, so now I'm on my final section of my hair. I'm going to apply the conditioner as well as the 3-Minute Miracle. Now, on this side, which is my right, your left, um, the curls are a little tighter here. Um, this is the side that I kind of favor, um, but the curls are a little tighter. But there are some areas that are still pretty straight, so I'm still working on my hair. Um, I still have a lot of heat trained areas or heat damaged areas that need to be cut. So um, just wanted to show you that and show you how it finally looks after doing all four sections of my hair. So I'm getting ready to wash it out and start the drying process. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm getting ready to use the Sleek Iron Straight, straight Heat Spray. It is, it says three day sleek with a 450 degree protection. Um, so this is good for me. The spray was a little different. Um, I'm used to the Tresemme spray uh, heat protector, but I wanted to try something new. Plus I had a coupon, so you know, that's why I'm using it here. So I'm just separating my hair into four sections. I'm gonna spray this all over my hair and get started with blow drying. Okay, so in this section right here, I'm actually reading the directions to you, but I am spraying the whole section here with the Sleek It spray. Again, this is a heat protecting spray. This helps to uh, give you an added protection, an uh, added layer of protection um, when you're applying heat to your hair. Now, um, it does say that it's good for all heat tools. So if you have um, a, not a diffuser, but if you have a flat iron, curling wand, curling iron, um, even one of the uh, flat irons with the steamer on it, again, these this uh, spray will definitely help to give you that extra layer of protection from these heat tools. So you don't wanna always apply heat to your hair all the time, and this is exactly why. All right, so I'm getting ready to start blow drying my hair. And as you can see, I've done another section to the large section that I did. You have to start to do the smaller sections to make sure that you get to the roots and to also make sure that you are uh, drying all the pieces in your hair. You definitely want to make sure that all the pieces are, all your pieces are uh, properly dry before you start to flat iron. Definitely a must. 
by the way, the hair dryer that I'm using right there is a Con Air Infinity Air. I got it for $20 from CVS. <laughs> it was $20.99. And actually, that deal was if you buy the hair dryer, you would get $10 back right then and there. So, again, every and I had care extra care books when I was buying the hair dryer. So, I pretty much got that hair dryer for free. <laughs> You see, I get a deal every single time. Yes, I do. <laughs> save, save, save. So the oil that I'm going to use is the Suave Moroccan and Argan Oil. And for the glosser, I guess you want to call it, is the Design Essentials Silk Essentials. It gives me a good combination with both for shine and it helps with my scalp as well. Yes, I have a heat protectant in my hair but I try to make sure that you minimize as much heat as you apply to the hair. And even though I was blow drying my hair, there was only minimal shedding. If I pull it out. Not much. So, you know, I try to take good care of my hair. So I'm going to be using a pea size of the silk essentials and the oil. Um, you don't want to use too much because if you do, then you will definitely see that the style that you're trying to achieve in your hair will not go through as you want it. So please be very, very easy uh, when using these two products together. A little goes a long way. Trust me. So the flat iron that I'm using right here is uh, it's a pink flat iron and it's GHD. Don't even ask me what that stands for. Um, I'll take a shot in the dark and say good hair device. Um, but someone gave that to me a few years back and it was a wonderful gift. And I still use it to this day, six years later. Awesome. Great heat. So while I was prepping my hair to get started, um, I forget, another thing I should mention about this device is um, it does have an automatic shut off. So if you don't use it after a couple minutes, it will shut off on you, which is a good thing because you might forget. Or let's say you're running late for work and you flat ironed your hair and you got somewhere to go. And you again, you forgot that it was on. It will shut off and it will get cool very quick and it heats up very fast. Um, so as you can see, I'm starting to curl my hair and, um, I only did one pass of my hair. Please remember that when you're flat ironing your hair, whether you're doing it straight or whether you're doing it, um, or, or whether you're curling it, I prefer it curly because I like for my curls to kind of drop after a couple days. But in this case, like I said, if you're getting ready to flat iron your hair, you should only do one pass. Um, this takes time to learn. You can look up, look it up on other YouTube channels. But what I do is I make sure that I comb out the section. Um, I apply the flat iron and as I make sure I get the roots, then I start to roll my hair around the flat iron as I'm going down. Um, I do not take a long time to keep it there. As you can see, I hold on to the root after it's been ta uh, taken care of and then I just pull as I go along and then it will curl if I miss a piece of the hair then I will use it on the next side um, but again I, I cannot stress do not do so many passes to that one section with your flat iron if you do trust me you will experience some type of heat damage and that is definitely what we're trying to avoid all right so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of this so we can look at the finished product. All right. So while I'm sitting here still flat ironing my hair, I was actually sitting here thinking about it. And I'm going to share it with you that I am highly considering the Diva Cut um, at the end of winter, early spring. Um, since April of 2018, I have really avoided heat at all costs. Um, this is my maybe third time flat ironing my hair since April, and I'm just really enjoying my results, not applying a lot of heat to my hair. Although I do like this look. Um, I, I, I like to avoid heat. Honestly, I do. Um, I do like my braids. I like my twist outs. I like my braid outs and I'm loving the curls that I'm starting to see more and more. And so I think with the Diva Cut, it'll definitely help to make my curls pop and give me the natural designs that I want. So look out. 
Okay, so we are now in the final, final stages of curling. As you can see, this is how it looks. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn around. Yes, yes, yes. And here we go. My hair is curled. As you can see, I'm not too strong on this side, but I'm a little strong on this side. But now that we're done, I'm gonna do a turn around again. all while driving it all and what we're gonna do I am going to wrap my hair I'm not gonna do the saran wrap finish I'm not a pro on that and I'll get frustrated so I'm just gonna wrap it and I'm gonna put a bonnet on it and then we're gonna take it out in the morning so we're gonna go to sleep and night